For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon career mode in FIFA 17. We are episode 4 now, and hopefully we will really start to put a dent into this career mode. Because obviously, it's only September now, we're 3 episodes in. Got the first transfer window out of the way, now let's get into it. First game today that I'm going to play will be against Bradford, which is another team that I have done a road to glory with in the past, and a team that actually recently in real life picked up a certain Wimbledon, uh, Wimbledon player in Dominic Polion. So, it's a bit interesting. I've been tossing up whether or not I should sell him in the next transfer window, but whatever. We'll see what happens. We've got Gillingham as well. We've got a few other players. Berry's there as well. Sheffield United, who obviously this season went up. I think actually won League One as well. So we're definitely going to play them as well. And then, of course, an EFL Cup game against Luton Town and then Shrewsbury. I'm either going to play Shrewsbury or Luton Town. Not sure which one yet. I'm also going to quickly show you, because I forgot to do it at the end of the last episode, the most recent game that we simulated. I didn't show you who got the highest rating, who got man of the match. So it's going to be Giannis Yaniotas who actually gets man of the match. So sweet guys, I'm pretty much set to go now. We can get into the first couple of games, but just before I do, I'll let you know that as soon as we can hit a thousand likes on this video, I'm going to upload a brand new video. And I think from now on, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you guys try to hit a thousand likes as fast as possible. And as soon as you do, I'm going to upload or have a second video always ready to go to upload simultaneously. So basically, if you guys do it quick enough, two day up or should I say two uploads a day. I hope you guys can appreciate that. It's going to make me work for sure, but at the same time, I'm happy to do it. So here we go. It's going to be the first game of the episode, Bradford City away, rainy day, unfortunately. I've gotten a lot of like shocking weather to start off this career mode, unfortunately. Hopefully it gets a little bit sunnier as we go on, but still, this is it. Bradford City versus Wimbledon. Here we go. We've got some awful, awful weather here, here at Bradford away, but still, what, a, what can you say? Here we go, the Bradford City team rocking that 4-3-3 formation. How's that going to match up to our 4-4-2? We will see. I recognize a lot of names in that Bradford City team. Even though I did a career mode with them several years ago, there are still definitely a few familiar faces. My oh God, I can't get a pass this time. So That's going to be a red too, because he's the last man. He's going to get sent off now, isn't he? All right, let's watch the replay. I literally think I was in the middle of saying, oh, great tackle. I don't fucking know. I really don't fucking know, but I'm not going to have a go. If it's the computer, it's got to be right, doesn't it? So I'm down to 10 men already. And yes, I know I have a bit of a track record of getting players sent off for very silly, stupid, unnecessary slide tackles, but you cannot fucking have a go at me at that. I was about to say, oh, what a great tackle right before play stopped. And I realized I was fucked because the referee is a cut. God, no. The plug in. Oh, my God. And then they put on an amazing move to fucking get 1-0. This guy... Oh, first 15 minutes. Could they be going any worse for me? The fucking marking today is awful. Every cross they get, it's just going to be a fucking goal into the box. So far, this 4-3-3 formation, the fact that we're down to 10 men hasn't helped, but this 4-3-3 formation against my 4-4-2 does not stack up at fucking all. And there's an injury for... I was about to say, if I also had picked up an injury along with all this, I'd be fucking done. And so that ends the worst first half of this fucking series so far. 2-0 down, we're down to 10. I really... If I didn't get that red, fucking who knows what the score would be. Because the thing is, it's not a red. It's just not a red card. Will you fuck off with that shit? Oh, if I go into the back stupidly, then yeah, sure, fine. Send the player off. But for that, no. Just need one goal. Just need to find an opening. I've barely had any, like, decent shot on goal this whole game. I could take a long shot. No, I don't. I want to work into that box. Maybe here with Kelly. With Kelly! Oh, my God! He gets a great shot away. Thought it was going top right. Nah, basically right the keeper. Taylor's won the ball back. Nicely here. Can he cut it back in? Could this be Taylor? Oh, my God. He's put it... Oh, we have a lot of strikers in this team, you know. Taylor, you're very easily replaceable. You're not doing yourself any fucking favours here at all. Oh, well, that is shit. Yeah, no, you know what? Send me off for that one. Me being honest now, you can take me off for that. I don't care. Because that will... So I didn't even get a fucking foul for that. I didn't even get a fucking card for that, which is so clearly a shit tackle. I've gone right into the back of him. There's a small chance I could have won the ball, but I've just completely gone into the back of him. But I don't get even a card for that, but you'll send me off right at the start of the game at, oh my fucking God, this stupid game. He won't send me off there because the game's already over. No, it's not a, it's not a game deciding fucking like decision he has to make there to take me off. 
What are you pissed off for, you cunt? You're winning the game. I'd be happy if I got one for the road. One for the road. Blocked by my own. <laughs> Polion goes for something special. Doesn't get great contact, but it's blocked by his own player. Could we have ended on a better note? Seriously. How typical of this game. That was the worst game that we have played so far. I was not at my best, but the whole team just off the ball. I was occasionally looking at seeing like where we were all set up, like our lines of defense, like our defenders, our midfielders. Structure was fucking shit. Passing was awful. So much pressure applied by fucking Bradford. It was just an awful, awful game. I want to fucking kick the asses of every single one of my players. And I can't believe I have to give a fucking man of the match to someone. So then, player ratings then. And it's obviously not pretty to look at. But there are still some players that have got like mid-sevens, if you know what I mean. So we've got Kelly, Polion, and Reeves. Some of the better def uh, players today. We've got Robinson too. A few players have got sub that were alright, like Pirate. But... Honestly, mate, I don't even know. I don't even fucking know. I just, I, I really can't say with any, you know, sort of confidence. Oh, he was actually quite good today. Everyone was fucking shit. It, it was just a bad game. I've got to give it to someone, though, and I'm going to give it to Jake Reeves. He'll get the man of the match. The best performer on the worst day of the series so far. We have to turn it around. I just knew, mate, the second I got sent off for that fucking challenge right at the start of the game, and especially later on where they just basically took the piss out of me by not sending off the other player, oh, mate, I knew that that was not going to be my day, and we've missed, unfortunately, Darius Charles. We're going to lose him for the next game. We have seven points after five games, and that sees us sitting outside of the top six, obviously, in, like, eighth or ninth place. Yeah, here you go. We're in ninth at the moment. Not too good. But then again, it's still early days, and... They're not exactly getting away from us by any means. I'll sim this one because it is at home against Gillingham. And at the same time, five at the back. Thank God. I dodged a bullet there. Hate playing against five at the back. Oh, dear. And that 4 3 3 against that 4 4 2 formation did not stack up well. I'm genuinely considering maybe switching up the formation even this early. But still, can we get a win? Yeah, we do. Two for Gonzalez, which I assume means he'll get the man of the match. And one for our left back in Kelly. Gonzalez got himself a brace. I thought he'd get man of the match. And he has indeed. So, an 8.4. That's the score that's going to be added to his total, plus two goals to go to his goal tally. We also have another game only a few days later, and if we win this one, we could be in the top six. Only thing is, I'm probably going to sim this as well, because again, we want to keep the career mode moving at a good pace, and I definitely want to play the next game instead of this one against Sheffield United. So we simmed a home game, and we were able to win that one 3-1. What about this away game against Burry? And it's another five of the back formation. I am seriously getting lucky at the moment. Yes, I am. That's great. Gonzalez with another one. And Taylor also picking up a goal. And wow, we have absolutely skyrocketed right to the top of the table after two back-to-back -back wins. That's crazy. We're on 13 points now. And Gonzalez, again, he's doing nicely in the sim games. An 8.5 rating for him. So that means now he is the first person and the only person uh, in this career mode so far to have three man of the matches in one season. So how many more will he add by the end of it? But now, finally, another home game. It's in clear skies. Beautiful. I don't think Sheffield United play a five at the back. If they do, then my goodness, man, that's three teams... Three five at the back formations. I'm hoping that they don't. Same team, same starting 11 as per usual. I'm going to have Polion in for Taylor. I'm also going to have, uh, what, Yanni Otas returning. Because he was actually away on international duty somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. When we were playing our first game of the season against Bradford, had Polion there instead. No, this time I've got Yanni Otas back in there. And that's pretty much the team. Here we go. It's good to get my whole team back for this one. But Sheffield United not doing as well as they had at the start of the League One season, obviously last time out. They're not... Oh, you're joking. You're fucking joking. Oh my God, I thought the championship was bad. Does just everyone in League One play five at the back? My God, man. This is great one-two play right here. Polion! Oh my God. Oh my God, I thought for a second I might have won the penalty. He went for the shot, but he left it behind. Reeves, is that a foul? Nope, that's clean. Decent. Good pressure. Polion. Ivan has no space at all. That's got to be. Yes, and this is a potential scoring opportunity. Now, I might go with Yanni Yotas for this one because he seems to be a better penalty taker. All i got to do is get my angles right and I will definitely score. Come on. Maybe a bit too much power. Yeah, a little bit too much power. Oh, dear. Oh, Kelly. What is that? A little unnecessary, but I'll take it. Flare points. Polion. Polion! Not getting the angles right at the moment. Over the bar. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this at all. Sharp, get in front, please. Oh, ha ha. Oh, this is no, it's killing me. It's fucking killing me. First attack, and their first shot of the game too, by the way. Did you see Dion Kelly trying to get around him so desperately to make the tackle? Nah, held off like the fucking bitch that he is, like a fucking child. 
Can we go right up the middle again? Uh, blocked off. Maybe. Pressure. Pressure. No, they'll just kick it away. Oh, what marking. How about that? Thankfully, Dion Kelly comes across to save the day, but can't get it back. Did you... You have to watch this replay. Look at the... Oh, oh, oh. I had a defender. Swear I wasn't controlling him. Just run off his... Oh, my God. Let's see this. Uh, Robinson, number six. I, yeah, that's a shit angle, but I can't be asked. Seriously. Oh, I don't even get another chance to attack. I, I'm really starting to realize now how bad this team is. I just don't... Oh, get it right now. This is so poor. This is painful. This is painful for me, and I'm sure it's painful to watch, but trust me. Oh, God, just been fucking... No, there are no words, really. Great. I'm having such a... F oh, my God. I'm having such a bad day. I didn't even go... Oh, my God. I didn't even go into the fucking squad rankings to see the player ratings. I'm, on, I'm honestly having such a fucking shitter. Thank God the sim games, we're getting points through that because it is saving me at this point. All right, then another loss. Great. Uh, Andre Ivan with a 7.2. I've just got to deviate in this situation. If I fucking skipped, I can't pick it myself. I'll just give the highest rated player on my team. So Ivan with a 7.2 in another very, very bad, very disappointing game. And I've gone two games now that I've played in this episode without a goal. These players, honestly, that I have in this team, they are so fucking bad. I... These players I have in this team, honestly, they are so fucking bad. I do not think I've really ever played with a team this low of a rating before. And comparing it to other FIFAs, honestly, the divide between about an 80 rated player and say a mid 60s or a low 60s rated player has not been that big of a gap really in previous FIFAs. In this year, it's just, it's just totally different. I don't know how big their ratings play into some of the shit that they do off the ball as well, but just everything. Play is just doing absolutely fucking awful shit and just awful passing and awful, and I don't want to complain anymore. Are we out? Yes, we are. Like this, can this be going any worse? My worst performance ever. We are now out of the EFL Cup, knocked out by fucking Luton. That's why I thought I could have seen, I could have seen that one against Luton. Because the thing is, if I'd played and I played shit again and I would have been knocked out by Luton, well, I can't come back from that. I'd have been out of the cup. I'd rather just play another league game than bloody play the fucking cup game at this point. Doesn't matter. Get knocked out the cup game anyway. And look, I'm now 10th in the league. I might not even fucking get promoted this season. Seriously, I might not even finish in the top six. All right, last game that we have against Shrewsbury. We can end this on a high. I can rescue the episode. I can win a game here, maybe get a few goals, just tally them up in this game. I don't fucking know if I will or not, but... If we can, it will rescue the episode and rescue our charge to get promoted this season. Because, goddamn, imagine if we didn't even win those games against uh, the two sim games that we had right at the start of the episode. Man, I'd be fucked. I'd be genuinely fucked. I'd be like in the bottom half, not even, way lower than that in the table. Seriously. Got to start getting points now. Got to stop fucking up. Got to... Oh, and hopefully we stop coming up against awful fucking formations that match up so shit against the 4-4-2. I reckon after this, depending on how this game goes, we might ditch the 4-4-2. So Shrewsbury are currently way up there. They're fifth. We're only 10th, but we're two points behind them. So maybe I shouldn't be stressing too much yet, but the fact that we're on 13 points, they're on 15, but there's a gap of five places between us in the table. Maybe it's not panic stations just yet, because a win here takes us past them and hopefully could take us several spots up. Could a win away against Shrewsbury even put us into the top six? Because really, in the end, that's all I need to be when the season finishes. I'd love to be top two, love to be on top, but fuck me if I'm ever going to get there in this sort of form. Great tackle. Missed. Awesome. Robinson. Can't get him past again. Deflected. God, look at the numbers. Just being totally outnumbered. Thank you, Shay, for making it. Something about to happen. Oh, what is that? No. Thank you. Good save. And there you go. What do I have to fucking show in that half? I don't even know. There's just nothing. There is nothing happening in this game so far. I'm honestly just happy I've survived. But it's five fucking halves now without a goal. I could go this entire fucking episode without even scoring one goal. Then, that'd be... I'd, even, even if I fucking go on to lose this game, if I get a goal, that's something to hang my hat on. Right now, mate, I don't even feel fucking close to scoring with this team, with this fucking shit team. Maybe again, he'll get another chance here. No, he won't. Tackled. Field. Bang. Strike. Wide. My God, have I even registered a shot on fucking target in any of these games? Seriously. Oh, this is it. Get it off. Thank you. Field. Maybe. Field. 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 No fucking way. Oh, I... 
Oh, this really is the worst game. Oh, this really is. Look, man, I can't really play you through there, mate. Nah, you're not really in good enough space. Kelly passing it across. I see Ivan in space. Can't really make the shot for him. Taken out. That's got to be a free kick. None of my players in this team are capable of actually dribbling around a player. That's one thing. And I can't really get in behind. And every time that I have, it's fallen to a player like Sam Fields and I've bottled the shot. I don't have a lot of great free kick takers. Do I try to get it up and over the wall with Andre Ivan or... I've got to take the shot. I have to. I'm running out of time. Come on, just get up and over that wall. He had... Just straight line. Oh, I was hoping it'd curl away a little bit. Nah, it's too easy to save. It's just nah, not happening. I have 10 minutes to score a goal. God, look at who's chasing. He's fucking slow. He's not even getting anywhere near him. So stay in front, please. Stay in front. What is... No. Blocked by Meads! What a block! Too easy on the counter-attack. Too much space. They were going to get the goal. My plays are so fucking slow. And the marking is awful. And that would have gone in. Crucial block. Honestly, by Meads. Well done. I'm just not going to get the chance to even try to get them on the counter-attack here. Headed away. No! Saved by Shay. Big save indeed. I don't even know if it was on target, but he has made a few today. There's almost no way I'm going to be able to have any time to counter-attack. So I don't know why I'm even throwing him forward. But headed away beautifully, you know. Can we hold him off here? Oh my... Come on. No, nah, I, I wouldn't have thought so. I would not have thought so. They had two defenders back. We had two attackers up. We could have maybe got something, but there was never going to be enough time. Nil-nil. No goals. No goals scored in this episode. Oh, none. None at all scored in this episode. I think I know what I'm going to title this video. So if you are disappointed or angry that there were no goals scored by me in this game, then I don't know what to fucking tell you. You know what the title is, mate. Jesus Christ. I've fucking done it again. I honestly fucking hate my life. Why? I've done the same stupid thing again where I've skipped before looking at the player ratings. This is so annoying. I would have given it to Charles, by the way, the centre-back. So I'm hoping he was the one that got man in the match. Yes, that's very fortunate. All right, good. 8.3. I would have actually given it to him, no bullshit. Because I already touched on how he made so many tackles. And he was great all throughout the game. Probably made about 10-something tackles all throughout the game. It was awesome. So, yes. 8.3 for Darius Charles, a shining light in another very disappointing game, but at least we kept a clean sheet. I've fallen very, very far here. Look at this, AFC Wimbledon. I am 12th with AFC Wimbledon in League One after nearly 10 games. And look, uh, I, again, shouldn't be worrying too much. I'm literally just two points away from the top six. As a matter of fact, the team I'm about to play in the next episode, obviously, not in this one, Oxford United are in sixth place. So if I beat them, again, I say, oh, if I beat them, I haven't been able to beat or get anywhere fucking close to beating anyone, let alone scoring a fucking goal in this episode. But two things that I have to do very quickly is I need to see who my scouts have found for me this month. And then the other thing is I have to do my first monthly recap of, of course, the player of the season voting. In Australia, we have Connor Ward and Jonathan Rose. Keep in mind that this guy is a one-star judgment, one-star experience. All of the scouts that I have are one-star experience, one-star judgment. So if we find anyone somewhat decent, it's kind of a miracle because I just don't have the budget for decent scouts. Galliano's not great from Spain and neither is really Alonso. And finally from England, Ethan Ward, not a great potential, not a great overall. I'm only really going to look I think I have to lower my standards for youth players in this career mode, or at least at the start. I think I'm only going to sign a player that has at least a max overall of 60, shall we say, and a potential that is somewhat decent, I would like to say, mid-70s to hopefully 80s and beyond. But it'll be, yeah, it'll be tricky because we might not come across a lot of those players. And to finally end this awful, awful episode, performance-wise from me anyway, is going to be the first monthly player of the season recap after 13 games. So here we go. In fifth position, Dean Pirate on 8.4. In fourth position, Giannis Yaniotas on 15.2. In third place, Andre Ivan on 15.7. In second place, Darius Charles on 16.7. And in first place, leading the player of the season voting is Derelis Gonzalez on 24.6. But that is it, let's end it. The episode is done. That's the first recap of the player of the season voting. As you know, still plenty of football left to go. And at the moment, there's only one player that has at least three. So I think we're going to get way, way more than that. I'm sure there'll be one or two players that could crack over 10 man of the matches on the season. We'll see how things go and we'll see who wins the award. But until next time, guys, my name is Amar Sparks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.